Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Do you have images in multiple Lightroom catalogs? Would you like to combine those catalogs into one main catalog and preserve all your edits? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. This video is by request. The other day I received an email from someone. He told me that he had images in five different Lightroom catalogs and he wanted to merge them all together into one and he wanted to make sure that he didn't lose any edits. Well, I didn't have multiple Lightroom catalogs really to demo how to do this. So what I did is yesterday I went out shooting around Niagara Falls and I took a hundred or so images of Niagara Falls and I put those in their own catalog. So now I have two catalogs. I have this catalog of Niagara Falls images and I edited some of those images. And then I have my main catalog, the one I use all the time. So what I wanna do is I wanna make, sh I wanna make an, uh, these images or I wanna put these images in that main Lightroom catalog. Now I have the secondary catalog open now. This is the image or the catalog I just created yesterday of these Niagara Falls images just to show you it's here and I did some edits on it. Now to do this, what you need to have open in Lightroom is your main catalog, the catalog that you're going to use going forward. This is the one we're gonna put all the images into. So really I have to close this catalog down and open up my main one. And to do that, go up to File, and then right on Open Recent, you could see that there's a number of different catalogs here. There's really mainly three. My main Lightroom catalog is lightroomcatalog.lrcat. The one that's open now with the check mark next to it is this one that I called my Lightroom catalog too. And then my son Joe has a catalog. So we're gonna go to the main catalog, which is Lightroom catalog here. And what it will do is it's actually gonna shut Lightroom right down. And then it's going to reopen Lightroom with my main catalog open. This is the catalog you see all the time whenever I do a Lightroom video. This is the catalog that is open. Now I need to copy all those images and all the edits from that other catalog into this catalog. To do that, go up to File, then Import from another catalog. Click on that, and it's going to bring up a Finder window, and now you could navigate to where that other catalog is. Now I put it on an external hard drive right here, and I called it My Lightroom Catalog 2. And when I open that folder, it will have the file active. The other ones are grayed out, the active file that you need to actually highlight and then click Choose. And in this case, it's My Lightroom Catalog 2.lrcat. Of course, yours is going to be named whatever you named it. So we're gonna click Choose. And when you do that, a dialog box will pop up. And we have to now tell Lightroom how to treat these files. Now, first of all, what I suggest you do is click this little checkbox to show preview. That way you'll see the images you're dealing with. Now up here at the top, it's showing the catalog contents. I mentioned it was just from one day of shooting. There's 108 images there and it's in a folder for yesterday's date, right? So how do we want to handle these files? Do we want to copy the new files to the new location and then import them into this catalog? Or do we want to add the photos to the catalog without moving? Meaning, I have these images on a hard drive all by themselves. If I click that first choice, they're gonna stay there. On the other hand, I really keep all my images in a specific spot, so I wanna copy them to a new location. That's the second choice. Don't import new photos. I'm not sure why you would wanna choose that if you're doing this. Then you're just importing catalog settings and not importing the actual images. So we're gonna do that middle one. Copy the new photos to the new location. So we're gonna now, t where do I wanna put these? So I'm gonna click choose and then a finder window will come up and now I could um, put where I want them. Um, technically, I want them, uh, let's see. This was um, actually images I took with a Sony a7R IV that I'm testing out. It's one that I have on loan from Lens Pro to go. So I'm gonna put them in that Sony a7R IV folder and it's yesterday's date. So I'm gonna put them in this folder right here. So that's where they're gonna go. 
Now I've done that. Now, there may be a scenario where you have images that the same image that is in multiple catalogs. And to do that or to show you that, what I actually did was is I took two or three of the images from that Sony catalog I took yesterday and I actually have them in my main catalog and I did different edits. So now we have to do uh, change existing photos. It actually found one. I thought I did more than one, but you know, I'm getting old, I get forgetful. So what do we want to do with those existing photos? So there's um, an image that is in the old catalog or that Sony catalog, I should say. I'm getting confusing, I'm sorry. I have a photo that is in that Sony catalog, the catalog I created yesterday, and I have that same photo in the main catalog. What do I want to do? Which develop settings do I want to use? Um, I could do nothing, and then it won't get copied, and it will just use the develop settings from the main catalog, or I could do this and it's going to take all the metadata and all the develop settings from that other catalog the new catalog and copy those into the new catalog or i could just do negative files and when i click on that you could see that a checkbox becomes active to replace non-raw files so that's just going to replace those files as well now what we want to do for my case is i'm going to take the metadata and develop settings only because um, in that Sony catalog that I created yesterday, I did the edits there and I like those edits and I want those edits to come over. Now, if I have different edits in this catalog, if I want to preserve those as well, I could click this little checkbox and what it will do is it will create a virtual copy. So I'll have two copies of the images of that one image one with the uh, processing that was done in the previous catalog or that other catalog, and one with the processing that was done in this catalog. In this case, I'm just going to leave that unchecked. Now, we also have, when we check this box here to show preview, you could go through each image individually, and if you don't want to bring some of the images over, you could just uncheck the checkbox. I'm going to bring all the images over, right? So we're going to import them all. I have the settings the way I want them and I'm going to click import. And of course, if you have a large catalog that you're importing, this is going to take quite a while. And what is it, what it's doing now, not only is it uh, copying all those settings of the image, all the metadata and all the develop settings that I've done to whatever images I processed over there, it's also um, copying the images themselves. Uh, so these are raw files, and I actually shot raw and JPEG. So there's raw and JPEG files being copied over. And since it's from that Sony A7R4, which is a 60 plus megapixel uh, camera, the raw files are very large. So it's going to take a while to actually copy them and then write them to the new location. So I'll, I'll fast forward the video through this and we'll get to the result. Okay, it brought them all over, and not only did it copy the images and the edits, it also brought over the metadata, and included in the metadata are the different flags and color labels I might have used. And really all I did was use a pick flag on a few images you could see here. So all that was preserved, and you could see that then uh, when I go to the develop module, you could see all the edits are there all preserved in this image here. I did this image in black and white. Everything is ready to roll there. So that's how you would uh, kind of combine all your catalogs into one. If you have more than one extra catalog, you're going to have to do this for each individual catalog. And I will add that was a little over 100 images, a mix of RAW and JPEGs. The RAW files were very large. It took maybe a minute and a half to copy everything over. So if you have um, a catalog that you're copying over and it's got a lot of images in it, this may take uh, quite a long time to do. But that's how you do it. That's how you combine multiple catalogs into one in Lightroom. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>